Hi, we're Grand Analog, and you are watching the AU Review. So. Yeah, yeah, we, we've had some uh, good South by Southwest experiences in the past. Um, it's interesting watching this thing grow to a, a magnitude uncontrollable. But back in the day, it was controllable. It was a nice, quaint little festival, and you could walk down the street and run into people you know, and, uh, you know, eat lots of dirty food that tasted really good. <laughs> um, uh, what, one year, what was a year that really stood out? The year uh, we used to, we did the mansion party, that was good. Yep. The, Playing uh, in a big old mansion in was, Austin. Was that Canadian wow. Blast related as well? That was, was that, Canadian Blast yeah. related, yeah. That was great. Yeah, I that, think that was 2008, the first the first time Grand Analog played. I think so. And yeah, yeah. I do remember, it looked like Berkeley College in 1968. It was just nothing but these hippie looking dudes <laughs> laid out on the grass with their sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, you know, everyone's just hanging around the house, drinking booze and having a good time. The sun set and it was time to get on to see all the other showcases and no one would leave. We were all in there hanging out for a long time. I do remember that. That was a big standout for me until someone smashed a car in the parking lot and then was nice enough to leave a note on the windshield. Sorry, I smashed your car. Call me here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, booze was being uh, consumed quite a bit that, that year. Yeah. The, the memories though I mean stuff like that I mean that's one of the things with South by it's always a good time the, the, the memories are just crazy I mean just as we sh as we were traveling here today on the, the flight um, it was just non-stop recollecting of the past three times we've been here of remember that time I remember what was that person's name and who did we run into here and what was what was that person's deal and yeah, just yeah. recollecting it it's always a good time so yeah yeah is there certain acts that um, you think, oh man, I gotta, I gotta catch these guys. I have to see them again. Or is there a standout act for you? When you this year? Or just previous years? Oh boy. Well, this year's difficult. I'm, I'm just gonna put that on the table now. We have a lot of uh, acts we'd like to see, fellow acts from Canada, and then you know, just a lot of acts that we're fans of in general. So I, I, I don't know, man. I, these guys have made you lists on yeah. the apps right now so but we're also busier i'd say this year as far as just the things we're involved in and contributing to so that's another progression as well like first year versus this year you know uh, being our introductory year yeah you know you have your canadian blast which you know we're, we're pleased and appreciative to be a part of but as time progresses you find that there are more people that want you as an act to be a part and be involved so i think personally as an artist it's a little bit harder now to really see everything i want to see because now we're a lot busier providing people with what they want to see so um yeah but as far as as past years quincy jones keynote was my highlight that was that was the coolest for me that would have been amazing. Yeah, it's fucking dope. Yeah.